By popular demand, I've been asked to discuss epigenetics and differentiation. First off, what is epigenetics? Well, it is essentially changing the transcriptional potential of a cell. In other words, cellular differentiation. So we have epigenetics here, and we've got factors that can activate gene expression. Okay, so if we think of uh, totipotent stem cells in the early embryo, these can give rise to pluripotent cell lines, which can then become specialized cells. Epigenetics is really an orchestrated set of chemical reactions that activate and deactivate parts of the genome at strategic times and specific locations during development. And these chemical reactions are heritable and can be, be influenced by age, environmental factors, and or diseased state. So how does it really all work? First of all, to activate your DNA, so now we're looking at differentiation, you need a chemical stimulus. And this could be in the form of a signal protein or a hormone or a transcription factor. Okay, and when these come along, your genes can become active or inactive. And as we are aware, if you activate gene expression through transcription, you make messenger RNA, and this can then link on to a ribosome and be translated into a polypeptide, which is a string of amino acids that you can see down here on the bottom left. So you have a chain of amino acids coming out of our ribosome, which is a polypeptide, and that in turn will lead to a change in the structure and function of the cell. And to this end, it will become specialized. So there we have it. So this is epigenetics, the control of uh, gene expression through chemical stimuli, which can activate genes that can make mRNA, which can then make a polypeptide, which will then change your phenotype, structure and function of a cell, and then you become specialized.